helping make your life easier. Moms Every Day. Hi, welcome to Moms Every Day. I'm Patty Cheek. Today, Dr. Ali joins us to talk about something that a lot of people have to deal with from time to time, and that's problems with your joints and pain with your joints. You see a lot of that, don't you? Correct. Uh, that's all I do. All I do are hip and knee replacement surgeries. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you look at all the operations that mankind has invented, hip and knee replacement surgeries are among the most successful. They get rid of pain, they correct deformity, they significantly improve patients' function. And they're very common, aren't they? Absolutely. One of the most common operations performed in this country, uh, probably the most successful and most cost-efficient operations. Cost-efficient. Yeah. Okay. And um, when do you know it's time to have this joint replacement? Harry, that's a really, really good question. Uh, the, a joint replacement should be absolutely the last option. Okay. They're phenomenal operations, but uh, they have risks associated with them, so you want to make sure that it's the last, your last option. What can you do uh, besides a joint replacement? Mm -hmm. uh, most of the time, patients use some kind of a medicine for arthritis. Physical therapy has been shown to work. Weight loss has been shown to work. Even a modest three to five pound weight loss has been really? shown to reduce pain. Strengthening has been shown to reduce pain. Bracing, using a cane, uh, physical therapy, all those things have been shown to work and they buy patients time. But when all those things have been tried and the pain is getting in the way of the patient doing what they like to do, the next step is to do the operation. And that's when they see you. That's exactly right. That's all right. Exactly and, right. and Cabell Huntington Hospital has what, the best, you guys are very high ranked in the United States and number one in, in West Virginia, is that correct? That's exactly right. And uh, I think when you look at all the high functioning uh, healthcare centers around the country and the world, when you look at Mayo Clinic, Cleveland Clinic, when you look at Harvard, when you look at Marshall Orthopedics, mm -hmm. the reason why we are so good at what we do is because that's all we do. All I do are hip and knee replacements, number one. Number two, because we're a large referral center, we see the patients who not only have normal disease, but we also see patients who have extremely complicated disease. Mm. People who have market deformities, people who are oh. extremely heavy, very sick. We're the end of the road, so they send those patients to us. And lastly, because we're a large referral center, we have a large group that collects data on our patients and we meet every month to look at quality, look at patient satisfaction and say, look, we're here. How could we do it even better? And you can only do that when you, you're part of a very large referral center like we are. Right, and it's completely niche, totally focused on the one topic, so it makes it yes. so you're just totally focused. Now, yeah, right. you use a computer system? Yes, and that's for precision. We're one of the few centers in the country that has a robot. We use a computer. Oh. Uh, these operations, if they are done well, they last a very long time. But if they're not done well, they don't last a long time. If you look at the data from the United States, about half of the redo operations are done in two to five years from the index operation. Hmm. So you want these procedures to last long. We have 25 to 30 year results on these hip and knee replacements. Wow. They're lasting a very long time, but they have to be done well. And are you getting young people in there for the joint replacement? Or? Correct. We have patients from their teens to patients wow. over 100 years old. People yeah. in their teens getting the joint replacements. Yeah. Now, when it goes to actually researching this and trying to find find out the program that you should be in or, or the surgeon that you should have, how do you do that? It's not easy because <laughs> yeah. there's a lot of marketing out there yes. and I think what you should do is number one, look for a large center like us, Mayo Clinic, Cleveland Clinic, places where all they do are hip and knee replacements, the, number the one. The niche is important. The niche is very important because the more you do, the better you get at it. We have the full spectrum of treatment so if during the operation, God forbid something, uh, we need something that is unusual, we have it. We don't yeah. have to wait an hour for it to be brought in. Um, and we have a very large group of people where all they do is focus on hip and knee replacements. So look for centers that all they do and surgeons that all they do are hip and knee replacements. 
and look at results. Those are all published online and, right. and you can do your research. All right, great. And then there's the phone number right there on your screen if you want any more information. Dr. Ali, thank you so much for thank joining you for us. Me. Really great advice today. And for any more information, you can head to our website, WSAZ.com. Click on the Moms Every Day tab and then you can find this interview and other details. And then also make sure you download our app, Moms Every Day. We'll be right back after the break.